Hey, this is Aaron from Aaron Industrial Recycling, back with another edition of Scrap School. If you remember, in our first episode, we went over some metal identification um, using a magnet, using a magnet with steel, how it pulls on the steel, and then on aluminum, it has nothing. Today, we're going to take metal identification a little bit farther. We're going to use a grinder and show the different reactions, uh, the different sparks that happen when we put a grinder to the metal. This is Juan. He's going to uh, start by just uh, using the grinder and showing you some things. First, we're going to start with titanium, and titanium throws a white spark, and it's, it's kind of the one that's the most, most easily recognizable. So why don't you go ahead and hit that. Good. As you can see, it throws a bright white spark. Now, when you take the grinder to something like aluminum, you're going to have no spark. Go ahead, Mark. No spark. Okay, then we move on to stainless. When you hit the grinder to stainless, right away it's a good way to tell between aluminum and stainless. Stainless is going to have a spark. It's going to have a red spark. It's pretty long and it's going to uh, be a much longer spark than steel. So you can see it throws a pretty long red spark. Now, when we do the steel, it's just going to throw a short spark that kind of explodes at the end. There'll be little explosions at the end. And that's steel. You know, and another metal that we sometimes want to identify is inconel, which is a, is a high temperature alloy, which really doesn't throw a smart spark, but if you look closely, it'll throw maybe one or two red sparks. Well, I hope you learned something. That does it for another installment of uh, Scrap School with Aaron and Aaron Industrial Recycling. Thank you.